In this video, we will take a look at the client software from the perspective of a student user. The video will introduce how to sign on, basic avatar movements, the user interface, and a few areas within the virtual world that need special explanations. Now I'm going to sign into the game software using a student account. The student account is Army Boy. To log in, simply click the login button. The sign-in process can take a while, especially when initializing the world and initializing multimedia. When the player signs into the game for the first time, they find themselves in the Welcome Center. This is where this player is right now. The welcome message appears the first time the player signs on to the game. This gives them a little bit of direction. This message tells them they need to find a place to live. Once the player signs onto the game the first time, this entry is made into the database and the avatar starts to age and experience life events. The avatar can now go out exploring the world and try to find a job and a place to live. The fastest way to move in the virtual world is to go down to the bottom of the interface and click on the map button. This type of movement is called teleporting. Clicking the button will show a map of the virtual world and it allows you to move anywhere in the virtual world with a click of a mouse. To move, simply place the mouse crosshairs in the location where you want to go and double click. If you do happen to see other players in the game world, it is possible to talk to them. If I open up the map, you'll see a small dot located there. This green dot indicates that another player has started playing the game. You can teleport to their location and use the chat button located on the bottom of the window to start a dialogue. I'm going to teleport to their location now. There's the other player. Click chat, and in this text box that appears, enter what you want to say to the other player. Hit enter, and it will be displayed to both you and to any other player around you. Immediately below the title bar is the status bar. There is more information displayed and more buttons to click to get more detail. On the right side is the number 1000. This number represents the amount of cash the avatar has. It is their cash on hand, cash hidden away for safekeeping, and anything deposited in a bank. It does not include loan, mortgage, or credit card balances. Health represents how healthy the avatar is. As time passes in the game world, an avatar's health is reduced. When you first started watching this video, the health was 500. It is now 310, and I'm sure if you keep watching it, you'll notice that it goes down farther and farther. Health is reduced on a daily basis. It starts at 500, which represents a perfectly healthy avatar, and can drop to zero, which means that the avatar is starving. It can also increase to 750, which indicates the avatar is obese because they are eating too much junk food. If this value reaches 750 or zero, the player is sent to hospital by the game and must remain there until they're healthy. The player cannot leave the hospital until their health is restored to 500. Within the game, there are a variety of restaurants and a grocery store that the avatar can get food at. If they eat, it will increase their health for them. It's up to the player to keep their avatar healthy. The buttons across the top between the health and the account balance show information on the financial details for the avatar. The button with a dollar sign contains information on accounts like cash on hand, cash hidden, any savings accounts, loans and mortgages, or credit cards and it contains information on balance and so on. 
The button with an H has information on the avatar's home. If they don't have a home, a message will indicate this. If the avatar does have a home, the dialog box will give details on the home's location, rent if it's an apartment, or purchase price if it's a home, and details on utility bills, and so on. The button with an E is information on the avatar's education. It shows their current education, with none representing only high school level. It also provides any details on educational programs the avatar is currently enrolled in. In this case, the avatar is not doing any studying at all. This avatar is currently enrolled in the diploma program, and here are the details of the program. The J button gives information on the avatar's job if they have one. In this case, this avatar is working as serving staff in a coffee shop. It also lists the years of experience at the different job levels within the virtual world. The last button has an F on it. This shows the food for the avatar. This avatar currently does not have anything at home. They are receiving a delivery of a medium box of groceries every two weeks. And they also receive a daily delivery of one healthy meal from the Northside Coffee Shop. In order for an avatar to receive either grocery delivery or restaurant deliveries, they must have a home. I'm now going to go to four primary areas of interest in the virtual world. First, we're going to visit the retirement home, which is where the players want to finish the game because it means they've won. We'll then go to the employment office, which is nearby. If the player finishes the game here, it means they've lost. We'll also look at the jail and the hospital and briefly explain how they work. This is the retirement home, the ultimate destination in the game. The goal of the game is to reach age 65 with a minimum of $200,000 in cash and belongings. If you do this, the game will send you to the retirement home automatically. If you wind up here, you've won the game. This is the employment office. If you reach age 65 but do not have $200,000 in cash and belongings, you'll wind up here. If you are sent here, it means you've lost the game. When you reach 65 years of age, the game will send you to one of these two locations. When the game sends you here, it indicates that the game is over. The game can be played again if desired. Go to the game website and complete the post-test. This will delete your existing account. Take a pre-test, which recreates the account, allowing you to sign on and play again. Remember that playing a second time means you are starting from scratch. You'll have no money, no belongings, you'll be back in the welcome center, and so on. This is the jail. The player does not have direct interaction with the jail, but they may find themselves in jail at some point in the game. During game play, an avatar may be fined. The game will attempt to take the fine amount out of the avatar's pay or cash on the next payday. If unsuccessful, the avatar is sent to jail for a number of days. When sent to jail, the avatar is stuck there and they cannot leave. They will be released automatically after the specified number of days has passed. This will eliminate the fine, however the avatar will not be paid if they have a job because they're not working. This is the hospital. Like the jail, the player does not directly interact with the hospital, but they may find themselves here. As was mentioned earlier, if the avatar's health reduces to zero, or exceed 750, they'll be sent to the hospital automatically for a specified number of days. During this time, they cannot leave the hospital. Once the number of days has passed, the game will release them automatically and they can continue playing. Even when the avatar is properly fed, they may still become sick. If they become sick, they are sent to the hospital just like when they are starving or obese. They are stuck in the hospital for a number of days specified. 
Like being in jail, the avatar will not be paid if they're working while in the hospital. Those were the highlights of the virtual world, areas that needed special attention. There's a lot of the virtual world left to explore, as you can see here. I'll leave that up to you.